Hey guys, and welcome back to Motion Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock for the Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we are trying to get our duplicates into the future as smoothly as possible. And this time, this time we have a few things that we need to pay attention to. The first one, of course, is the fact that we are running out of magma over on Reverse. Now, this is a thing that we can fix relatively simply, as long as I can actually get these to put down where I want them to go. We could, we could do a little build orders like this and this should allow our uh, duplicates across to let loose some more magma we are also slowly but surely making sure that we can push up all of these tiles we're going to go put new layer after new layer in uh, in fact i'm even going to go ahead and put down the new layer here and, and we're just going to keep this ticking over quietly in the background look at that there goes boar to go and put the ladders down pyaxlin is having a great time we're not going to worry about pyaxlin today we normally do have a look what is going over here picking up some crude oil that's fine that's fine we normally do spend quite a bit of time here this is where our redistribution center this is where all the parts and pieces go off to every other place that we have but we don't need to worry about that today Blagolia having a good time it's a great sustainable system I'm not going to worry about Blagolia but Irragal this is where we're going to spend most of our time today I want to make uh, some better poke shell farms uh, I can see that basically we could very easily very easily convert this top area here into a selection of poke shell farms and I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do uh, I first thing I'm going to do is relocate this airlock. We're going to deconstruct this tile. In fact, actually, let's deconstruct that tile and leave that one in place. We've got a granite block here, so we need to ask Hubble to come along and do this. As I remind you every time, we have a bit of a weird situation here where the person who can go ahead and do the digging Hubble can go ahead and do all the digging. Unfortunately, no build skills. No build skills whatsoever. So if we were to set up a situation where we put down a build order over the top of something that has one of these little diamonds on it, uh, Hubble wouldn't actually be able to take out the diamond, and nobody else is allowed to dig out the diamond areas either because they don't have the skills. So I, I need to dig, then build. It, it's a bit of a weird situation, but it's where we're at. And it's a situation that I'm going to use to make these uh, the, these poke shell farms over here. I feel like the, the, the wall needs to kind of come up here and uh, I believe 96 is the size of the room that we want let's check the room overlay scolding don't what or scolding why are you scolding over here what's 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 going on I know it's hot but it shouldn't be that hot no I think I think we're okay I'm not sure what they were complaining about let's press f3 Maybe it was the super hot rocks on the floor. Maybe. Maybe. But let, let's ignore that and get back to Irigao. As I was saying, if we have a look at the room overlay here, we can see stables. 96 tiles. I'm going to make like 99 tiles and then restrict the size of the place from there. I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, put down... Do we, do we, do we put the, 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 the block here? I think we do put put the block here what I might actually do let's swap that one out. Mm, mm. I am I am thinking now I didn't realize there was quite so much problems with the heavy what wires I'm wondering whether we can move them along this line here yes 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 anyway I, I definitely I definitely want to put down this door as was foretold more importantly, it um, makes a new airlock and we don't have to worry about all our gases escaping out into the vacuum as they are up there. Okay, yeah, that, that's good. Oh, look, we're getting deliveries of poke shells. This is great. This is just a, a holding area at the moment. Uh, I'm probably actually going to have to deconstruct that. Uh, we're probably going to set this down to zero when we get our first... Uh, first stables built here. We're going to be copying the idea that we have over here for the hatch farming, the hat ranching, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, apart from we're going to be using the auto sweeper to also pick up the eggs because if the eggs stay around inside we're going to have ourselves a bad time. Let's see what width we have here. It's a five width tile and of course that means it is a, oh that's one too many so we can take it as a 20 block height. Do I have 20 blocks of height here? Let's have a look. We got 23. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah we can do that. We can do that. So as I was saying, we're going to put in a small power system. Heavy watt power uh, right here, right here. We'll grab the aluminium and we'll pull this across that way. And I'm sure we're going to end up running it over this way. But then, then that, that then gives us a floor that we can work from. Is that where I want it? Let's, let's destroy these things. We start thinking about... So am I then going to put an extra floor? Are we going to have an... Let, let's grab some granite here. And then we can have the 5, 5 by 20 
quality going up here. This isn't quite right. We probably want to have it one further over this way and ignore on the left. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's grab some igneous rock. Uh, wrong wrong button there. Igneous rock. I just kind of build our way down here. Okay, that's good. Destroy this particular bin. We'll move all the stuff somewhere, somehow, someplace, sometime. Uh, but right now, you know what? This might actually end up just being completely cut off. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I might even destroy these igneous tiles. Start filling in this area. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that we are coming across here. Uh, do we have the room that I need? to have no not yet so we build one two and there this is this is the ooh, this is the size of the room that we want of course there are problems the biggest problem is the fact that you know this bleach stone and stuff like that can't be dug out uh, by anyone other than Hubble and he does not have building skills you know stuff that I've mentioned in the past you know I think I might let's have a look at the skills how how good is Spitzer doing on the morale at the moment he's doing okay I think I'm gonna give him some digging skills two points of digging skills in fact that should hopefully enable him to take out the abyssalite let's double check this super hard digging can can take out the abyssalite all right great that this should now mean that spitzer himself is going to come along and do some of the wonderful jobs that we've been trying to make sure that hubble can do hubble might even be uh, changing his uh, his outlook on life at some point let's see what blueprints we've got here i don't think i want any of those here let's go over to Pyaxlin. we're just going to drop one of these bad boys right here something else that i might do something else that I might do. I've been thinking about this for a little while now. I'm going to get a high ca high pressure gas system. Oh. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, uh, this 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 is not the easiest job in the world. But I'm going to pop it there. We're going to grab ourselves uh, just a regular gas pipe. I don't think it matters what we make it out of. Uh, we're going to come down. I'm trying to connect up to this system here uh, because back on Reverselin, where the other side of this teleportation device is located, uh, we should be able to move something that I've not really been paying all that much attention to. And really, really, I should have been doing uh, more. So this is going to give us more oil than we know how to deal with but i don't think that's the uh, the end of the world right there definitely something that we can deal with as i was saying over on reversaling look at this we got ourselves a carbon dioxide vent right there right there that we never 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 make use of uh is it hot carbon dioxide let's have a look 500 degrees carbon dioxide that's not gonna be great but you know what i think we i think we're fine i think we're fine do i want to use this as like a temperature sink all around the outside put some uh put some what's the word i'm looking for temperature shift plates all around there uh, I would like a gas pump I would like oh I can't make a steel gas pipe we'll make a gold amalgam one uh, maybe at some point we will swap that out for steel uh, and then we come oh it's gonna come out it's going to come down and it's going to make its way over. Oh, it's not quite as far down as I thought. We're just going to plow our way through there like that. I think that should work out fine. That is literally the straightest line we could possibly make, minus this little dog leg, uh, for this carbon dioxide vent. So, let, yeah, that, that, that should be cool. Maybe we'll set up some sort of filter over this side or pie axling. Probably pie axling side now that we uh, stop and think about it. More power over here, uh, especially as this is the place where we're making the power directly from the oil that we'll be pumping across well this will be carbon dioxide carbon dioxide which the slicksters then convert into oil yeah it shouldn't be a problem how's our little a little uh, building project going over here we're going to deconstruct that we're going to dig this one just going to move a block at a time a block at a time over here things are being created i was kind of hoping that we could build this ladder and then we could watch all of it well it would be this little magma cha chamber first and then this magma chamber all flood out and into but uh, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. What about here? How are we doing? It's taking time. It's taking time. I said I was going to ignore Blagolia. You know what? I, I, I was wrong because we, we need to try and figure out how to make sure that these outhouses actually get uh, stopped at the right point. You can see that actually this one has one more, one more using it. It's, it's not quite all the way at the top. Uh, it doesn't have the... Uh, if, if we come over to... Here a gal, I can show you this quick this uh, auto save. I, I might need to turn down the frequency of which it auto saves, but I want I want this I want this symbol up and over the top of it, and that means we need one more one more use for all of these all of these. I've got a feeling a few of these have been cleaned several times now. That's not ideal. Ah, ah yeah, it already has. Actually, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's all good. Can we turn the the 
uh, the priorities all the way down. That's looking pretty good. Is anyone going to come and clean this? That's the question. I don't want anybody to come and clean it. That, that's the big thing. I don't want them to. I don't know how to make sure. Why, why did you drop that? You're supposed to be making an auto sweeper. We're going to try and pick up the slime and deliver it straight to the farm. Uh, the eggs as well. This guy, little lullaby pufflet egg here, desperately trying to get the incubation rate up. Uh, over an era gale. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? We are... We're digging. It's taking a while though. Oh man, it's taking a while. Okay, that's all the wires and railings set up. What's going to happen over here is when the puffs drop any of their slime to Apart from up here, it turns out. Small blind spot. I think we'll be okay with that. Uh, when the puffs drop their slime, it gets picked up by the auto sweeper, put into the conveyor loadout, just goes up and gets dumped in the top here. If there is an egg, and that's the one that might be a little bit more troublesome, but you know, we'll, we'll live with it. It can, it can have a slow cycle over here. If there is an egg, it will pick it up off the floor and send it via the magic of this sorting mechanism over here down to be uh, put into the incubator where we're uh, incubating all pufflet eggs right now. At some point, that will probably switch to uh, to squeaky puff. Oh, no, 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 squeaky puffs is chlorine. My bad. I keep doing this. Well, we definitely just want the regular puffs. Uh, but yeah, and then the, as Swan Levitt is very nicely demonstrating over here, uh, she will come along and uh, make, make nice hugs with with the pufflet so that that should be nice that speeds up the uh, the time that it takes for the for the egg to hatch it, it, it takes choose it down to three days rather than 10 just over 10 14 days i don't know it's a, it's a lot of days without the uh, without the incubator you can see that i've got ourselves a little bit of a time scheduler here because um swan leather only needs to come along and hug it once and then it's got the lullaby uh the lullaby status all day so i i just turn it off with the cycle sensor and that manages the power we really do need to get all the what the wires put in place anyway what are we doing up here we are digging we are building we're getting pretty close actually to being able to open this up i definitely know we're going to want a critter drop off in here so let's drop that one actually we'd want to drop that where this uh, this storage bin is right now because we've got to be thinking that our duplicates will be coming up this way and then in from this side and then maybe on this side as well if we are going to do multiple ranches which I think we will be doing because steel uh, <coughs> sorry the uh, the malt goes into steel production and steel production is kind of important so uh, we'll, we'll be keeping on top of that uh, so I want to put the, the 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 craft the farming station wait, wait it's in stations right I want to have the grooming station this one here like right here in fact I'm going back to uh to my original asteroid to go see how I laid this out so we've got grooming station we've got critter feeder we've got some ladders to get up and down and a critter drop off very important that we uh we have the ladder because you never know when we're gonna gonna change stuff you know what? I don't think we need the ladder anymore maybe we don't actually need that but I'm, I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it so it was uh let's let's get rid of this I do dislike that we're dropping all this stuff everywhere like he's gonna take wait how do I let's cancel that one uh, and let's get everybody to hopefully get this sand before any serious troubles happen I mean is that serious trouble no it feels it feels like mild trouble we, we can we can deal with mild trouble mild trouble is our forte and whilst we watch Spitzer and Hubble keep us out of mild trouble I'd like to take this moment right here and thank the people who keep me out of mild trouble that's right my patrons Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the boys and girls that go along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made sure that me and my channel can make their way make our way into the future as comfortably as possible with a small monetary donation every month. So, from the very, very bottom of my heart, I really do, and I, I really mean it. Thank you guys. Thank you so, so much. So I think I've got a question for you. If we have a look at the radiation overlay, why do the uh, solar panels that supposedly, I'm going to assume, eat a little bit of the radiation to turn that into power, wh why does that not block any of the radiation? Sh surely, surely the solar panels should block, I'm just going to pick a number out of here, about 25% of the uh, the radiation, given that our current solar panels in the real world are 25% efficient, give or take, you know, 23 or something. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I'm not getting any any blockage here what i should do of course is to put down a whole bunch of plastic tiles maybe across here but i don't think i have that much plastic so we're, we're not going to do that we'll fill, we'll fill it up with igneous rock or something like 
there. Uh, I really would like someone to come along and finish all of these jobs. Thankfully, Spitzer coming along to get the uh, the outside done. Uh, let's uh, let's let's run some ladders up here, uh, and then we can go ahead and remove these ones, which I, I think would be uh, an actively good time, uh, actively good thing for us to be undertaking. What I'm mostly interested in is, is Spitzer going to strand himself up here. That that would be hilarious. Is Hubble going to strand Spitzer up there? That would also be kind of funny. I I. I never really know what their next job is going to be. Like, there's things that you wish and there's things that you would like. I suppose the fact that I've turned everything up to a nine around here might have something to do with the fact that, that he's just picking jobs at random. That that might have something. Let's, let's try that. That feels a bit more, a bit more natural now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Oh, well, it looks like I've forgotten this tile, right? It looks like I didn't put anything down there. But actually, there is a tile waiting to be built. Uh, it needs a delivery there. That That's crazy. That's crazy. It really looks like there's nothing there. Uh, Clay, could... Could we have a white outline around that one as well, please? That that would be great. That that would be very informative. Let me know what's going on. Well, we've been at this so long, we've had a second blueprint open up to us. Yes, snazzy suit. Yeah, all about that. I wonder who can wear it. Uh, let's have a look. Who do we even have it? Compton? Hubble? I mean, Hubble's been around for the longest. Uh, uh, Spitzer actually has the most skills. So let, let's give it to Spitzer. He, he could probably do with the boost. Indeed, Spitzer is the one who is struggling with stress looking at that let's see what's wrong with his stress low morale and i think maybe the snazzy suit will help his morale hopefully when we get everything up and running over here he should also get some uh, some good meat bonus as well it turns out eating barbecue every day is pretty good for your morale terrible for your colon but you know Okay, with all the pieces in place, we are going to be harvesting pokes from here. Okay, beautiful. We'll just pop that down like so. I thought Spitzer was going to come along and dig those out. And I like this design so much that we're just going to go ahead and build it again. I think we need to get people concentrating on here, though. If we, if we could get this dug out as quickly as possible, I think Spitzer is going to be the person for that. Does this count as a stable in here? This is a, another question that I've been meaning to ask. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's good. We can totally destroy this doorway as well and that should keep us going pretty well give us a nice clear way through uh so we also want to have a critter drop off we want to have some ladders right here like this we want to have a critter feeder and of course there's a ladder in the way but as soon as that ladder gets out of the way we will build ourselves a grooming station do we want to build it out of something that's not steel i think i think that might be the winner cobalt we've been picking up a lot of cobalt why can't I? there we go put it there nice nice Nice, beautiful. Uh, and then we just kind of drag this out, go all the way up to here, and uh, put down some more tiles. Okay, that was quite a fast way of building ourselves a little entrance. Okay, that, that was great. I like that. I like that a lot. Managed to seal Hubble off. I don't I don't think about it. He, he could come out and around this way through the what I'm kind of funnily calling the main entrance over there. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where, where will be our main entrance. I should imagine we're going to have a little robe, uh, not robe, but a little rocket platform right here. And then we can have a way up and down maybe over on this side. In line with here would actually make the perfect main entrance. We'll put, put this a bit a little bit wide. And then all of this over here can be our nuclear zone. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Nuclear zone. We're going to get there. We are going to get there. But we, we just need to make sure that the rest of the uh, the asteroid can survive on its own before we start blowing up other bits of it. Okay, so whilst they're building this, we're going to have to remove this pinch of pepper and bring this wall down to make the uh, the 69. Uh, no, 96. I know, I know what numbers I'm trying to say here. Over on reverse, we're slowly getting to the point where we can start just uh, taking out more and more layers. But more importantly, I wonder if we can do this. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait till the morning now because nighttime just got cooled. But you know, first thing in the morning, what is happening over here? Why is everybody getting scolded right here? You came out of here and there's a bunch of water water on the floor is th is that the problem i think that might be the problem there is a load of steam over here so i can understand why things are going wrong over here they cl they claim starvation over on Irigao. no 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 You're, you you've got plenty of food more lice loaf than anything else but still a surprising amount of mush fry 
for uh, material that I'm not even making anymore. I know we're still cooking the mush fry, but there's no, we're not making any more mush bars, so I'm surprised we still have a supply. Anyway, as I was saying, well, wait, wait for the morning. We're gonna, we're gonna build some stuff over here. We're gonna let some lava free. Rutherford is our duplicate on a mission. Going along to fix this ladder over here. I don't know whether they're going to go ahead and dig stuff out because they uh, they have other things, other quite important things to do all the way down here. This bunch of obsidian back here is 1400 degrees and that is slowly through corner uh, interactions leaching its heat out. I kind of wish that Rutherford had done this first, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Uh, let's put all those nine. It's just just so they uh, they really get done as quick as possible. Where's Boar? More importantly, why why is my friend here not also going to long uh, going along and building the stuff? I don't know. He doesn't seem to be interested even in the slightest. Can uh, Rutherford reach up here though? That is that is the big question. Yes, that that's entirely why I built this floor is because I knew that they'd be able to reach. Okay, I suppose that's okay. <laughs> Okay, first major magma flood we've had in a little while. Hopefully he can reach across. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to reach across, is it? Uh, hope, hopefully the whole lot can be set free. That That's what I'm looking for here. I'm a little bit worried about that bit of sand now that I've noticed it. It's going to drop down and cause us some troubles. Oh, that's good. He can't reach that. That is very good. Not a major flow, but enough of a flow that we can actually witness the effects trickle down to the main area over here. Who's scolding Franklin? That's 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 fine. That's, that's over on by accident. P people are having problems over there and I'm uh, not sure entirely how to solve those problems. But uh, we're, we're going to keep on pushing, going to keep on pushing these tiles up. Yes. It's a good flow. It was a good flow. Maybe we'll even pull a ladder down over here. Oh, 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 no, no, not that one. Not that one. Uh, we might want that one if I actually build this here and then go, hey, we're going to take that little nubbin out there so that we can allow the magma to continue flowing. Rutherford having a bit of a bad time with the heat down here. We really do actually need to try and do something about the heat. That's quite, quite bad. Entombed? Who's entombed? What's entombed? What has happened? I don't see anything. It's taken me over here. Um, building entombed. The grooming station. Okay, we can, we can very easily deal with that. All right, dealt with, dealt with. The uh, the water might be a little bit more of a problem. That's, that's not the button I wanted. Let's uh, let that Dreco be free. Where, where is he there? Uh, Cancel the wrangle. I don't care about that. I want to mop. There we go. That's that's the uh, the number I wanted. Brilliant. My pufflets escaped. Look, it's all it's all the way over here. Uh, I don't know how to fix that either. I think the way we're going to do it is by putting down... Uh, we're probably going to need a lot of these over here. We're going to have a critter drop off. I'm going to just just go with that one there. Uh, let's make it a high priority. And when it's loaded up, we're going to set it like this. Auto wrangle to zero. And hopefully we can just round up all of the animals that are out and about. Uh, maybe we need to also put one just on this side just in case. Yeah, I, th I think that might be a good way of doing it. Uh, I've also gone along and said, hey, I, I want this built and I want this built now. Let's Let's see if that gets done. Well, that's going pretty quickly. That is going pretty quickly. All uh, about it. I want to put one of these auto sweepers here and one of these auto sweepers over here. I'm not sure if anybody can actually build them, though. No, we are missing the mechatronics engineer. And uh, I don't know if we've got... Maybe... No, uh, Hubble can't build. Hubble would be the ideal person if we come and have a look in the uh, in the skills here. Uh, but may maybe... I mean, <laughs> Spitzer, my friend... You are halfway there. No, no, we need we need someone else. Maybe Chandra, maybe Compton. One of these two does need to be put on, onto that. Indeed, we, we got some extra building skills over here. Uh, I wonder if the, uh, if Compton can even take it though. Mechatronics engineer that would completely max out their morale. Mm. Okay, with these two in place, I've gone through and uh, set the the critter drop offs to accept. Let's turn this down to zero, and I'm just I'm just gonna get people uh, panic pushing critters around. We're, we're just gonna turn everything up to the highest priority here, and hopefully the moment Spitzer co collects one of these guys, we will end up putting it into not the Draco, not anything but the Draco. All right, we'll end up putting it inside the uh, the, the stables that we've got over here. Really did. Did not want that Draco. That that that's that's not the guy I'm after. Hopefully now though we will go ahead and grab someone else that we are after. Uh, any moment now 
which one do you reckon? Is it that one all the way down from this? Uh, yeah, look at that. All the way. That That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, I wish that there was some sort of routine to get the one that was close. No, none of them? Are the poke shells un... Wait, was there another Drekken though? But wait, did I did I actually... Wow, I didn't even see that second one. Wow, we're, we're in trouble, yo. We're in trouble. Hopefully we can get this done today. Is that going to get... It's not going to get done today. We're about to... About to run out of time. Anything and everything that is not the poke shells. What what is this? What is this? Okay, well, I mean, I know we can move them via the poke shells. They must just be further down this. I've even gone through and changed the settings on this uh, this drop off to you know allow three creatures of the correct type. Let's let's do that. Uh, maybe we can then move Spitzer. I mean, he's going to go to bed now, but may maybe this is something that can get fixed tomorrow. In Blagolia, how are we doing over here? Has, has my has my pipsqueak been moved? Uh, I mean, the puff's over here now. Uh, not the pipsqueak, the puff, puff, pufflet? Pufflet's the word I'm looking for. It should be over here somewhere. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. There it is. There it is. Above, above the kitchen. Above the kitchen. Having to sleep on the ground. Uh, I've then gone and set these these uh, credit drop offs off correctly. So hopefully that will then get moved down in there. Okay, fun days. How, how about how about this area over on reverse lid? I do happen to know that Rutherford took quite the beating, quite the uh, quite the intense heat um, from here. How are we doing over this side? We are starting to move some some materials. I hope that this is a higher priority. You know what? I'm going to turn these ones right down. Turn these priorities right down to a two. Leave those two up. Back to Irrigate. We'll, we'll just accept that that's going to work well in the background. Okay, let's see what Spitzer does now. Uh, hopefully not the pip, right? Here we go. Any, any Anyone that's not the pip? Anyone? Who, uh, who's going to get into the pip? Why, why the pip? We should have allowed the pip. Oh, well. Also, the, blue, uh, the print went off. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. What, why not? Let, let's have another pip squeak, and then we can totally capture that as well. Let, let's see. Let's see. Is this going to be this one going yes? I don't, I don't know, actually. Maybe not this. Oh, this time it's actually a poke shell. All right, great. Finally. It's going to take all day, but I think we might be able to get there. Okay, there we go. One of them has been uh, tied up. Hubble's just gone along and bagged it. And now, hopefully, yeah, there we go. We've we've got our first poke shell in place. Great. We really do need to have these auto sweepers set up, though, because without them, we're going to end up having um, poke shell, uh, pip, pip squeak. No, 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 no. Poke. Poke babies, poke babies. Is that is that a thing? Whatever the baby pokes are called, uh, we 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 don't want those. We don't want those at all. All right, we're gonna do it. We we need we need it. We need it. I, I'm sorry, uh, Spitzer. No, no, you're not Spitzer. You are Compton. You're, you're gonna have a bit of a bad time for a few days, uh, but hopefully you'll come along and build all this stuff up here in the meantime where are we going to get power from for it that's that's a very astute question very astute question one that i'm not entirely sure how we're going to answer probably going to make a power system over here we can run the heavy watt wire across and down and then yeah and then have a a, a little power transformer here okay the majority of the equipment is place even got the incubator going down now normally for this i would be saying hey could we have let's have a look uh critter egg we just want to get the Pintro out. That's the name I keep on trying to think. Pintro. Uh, and of course, we also then want uh, is it the manufactured material? It's uh, industrial ingredient, sorry. The poke, mo poke shell malt. Uh, maybe even the small one as well. But because this is the first time we're running this, what I'm actually going to do is just go, hey, could you get everything out of here, please? And we're just going to move all of these materials, and the same with over this side, all of these materials out of here through this conveyor chute and just put down on the floor just so we can tidy this area up just a little bit. We'll then put everything down as a sweep order, which I hope should happen fairly and naturally, and then everybody can move all of the stuff down to this new, uh, new little storage area that Hubble is trying to build. Hubble can't build, but he's been making a lot of deliveries down here. Obviously, Spitzer is going to have to make the actual deliveries. Why am I here? Am I hearing whistling? No, I'm not hearing whistling. I'm hearing the conveyor loader open and close. The poke shells have already started to be tamed, and we are moments, moments away from having ourselves a pinch row in the incubator.
That, of course, is a very small trip from the incubator to the farm, uh, to the ranch. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've managed to do it. We've managed to... What, why are we out of power down here? There should be plenty of power coming. Yeah, there's power here. Mm, maybe I have not hooked things up in the right manner. No, look, single broken wire. Single broken wire. Let's just put that down like so, and hopefully our duplicates will be able to come along. Uh, this, of course, is an upgrade to the slime farm. We should be getting plenty of slime dropped off. In fact, uh, 63 kilos. That was about where, sorry, 60.3. That was about where we were at the beginning of the episode as well. So we are more, uh, we are keeping up with the demand. That's pretty good. And here again, we are slowly but surely making more and more poke shell. I just need to get the power line in place. Okay, just a few final things to do. I think I want to let all this water out of here, and uh, hopefully those Dracos are going to get set free at some point. We're going to destroy this critter, drop off, and we'll figure out roughly where other where other creatures can be dropped off at some point. All the water being dropped down here. At the same time, all of my things that off gas, uh, algae. Uh, in fact, algae is a bad option. Uh, polluted dirt, polluted mud, rod pile, slime, uh, oxalite, and bleach stone all getting dropped onto this part tile right here so that they are underwater and not releasing all their horrible 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 gases as soon as the power starts up again from the solar panels we will start moving the materials a little disappointing that that is in fact not an all night power situation uh we get we getting any we getting any doesn't look like it the water has once again been set free and look at all of this material that we can get moving here uh at some point we are going to have to maybe probably rip the down some of the solar panels and put down a interplanetary launcher system to start firing all of these back to reversing where we are of course trying to get our magma moving uh, I'm gonna move this do we want to move it one block forwards I am not entirely certain we're, we're gonna do that we're going to do that that will let we'll, that will strip, strip just this tiny little strip of blocks off here and it should be nice and safe still we'll be continuing on moving all of these blocks up one block at a time indeed from this corner over here we'll be trying to do it off he goes to build the ladder uh pyaxlin having a great time i don't think there's anything we really need to talk about with our pyaxlin blagolia we have got ourselves where where have they gone Oh, there's one, there's two. They were hiding behind the auto sweeper, but we managed to get ourselves two little creatures out, out there. Uh, critter egg, I want to have. Uh, where's the where's the puffler eggs? There we go, pufflet eggs. And the prints. Why, oh, we can only do one. Well, I guess we're just going to have the pufflets, and we'll be making a bunch of prince pufflet eggs that um, all get dropped up here. Yeah, there, there they are. Pinslet pr print, pufflet prince eggs are being dropped at the top. It's not quite what we want, but it's fine. We'll make do with uh, that. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys uh, next time. We might try and figure out how we're going to uh, to ranch these guys. Pips, yes, indeed. They, they like to eat the arbitraries, which we seem to have one of. Is it only one? Do we only have one? Uh, I think there's another one there. Okay, so we got we got two of, which we need somehow to make into a thriving industry. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.